I know that your firm uses what you call systemic strategies, uh, some of them driven by artificial intelligence, a lot of them more short-term sort of trading strategies. What kind of opportunities does the current op uh, environment present uh, for those kinds of strategies? How do you capitalize on the various points of uncertainty right now? Uh, Julia, I would like to touch on two points. So um, a rising interest rate in general is, um, is positive for us. And that has been a great challenge in the last couple of years with interest rates being so low. So a continuing rise on that front um, is, is making our strategies just uh, more attractive because it supports all the short trades since you're collecting the carry there. And on the other side, um, lower correlation amongst the markets that we are trading helps because um, whatever the sharp ratio is that we will be able to extract on a single market, the less correlated these return streams are, you know, the better it's ultimately for the portfolio. So um, this decoupling of Europe and the US um, is, is quite helpful for us. And of course, an increasing level of, I would say, sustained volatility helps trading strategies. That can always be, ex be the exception of a volatility explosion, which is sometimes difficult to trade. But it's a more, if it's a more sustained, um, higher level of volatility, that is certainly very healthy for our type of strategies. How much room is there for AI strategies, Karsten? Uh, we just have a story uh, today as well about AQR Capital yeah. Management appointing a head of machine learning for the first time in its two decade history. Uh, it's, it's an interesting topic. We have opened uh, our dedicated deep learning office um, at the beginning of uh, this year. And uh, there are elements in the strategy where we feel that um, AI or deep learning in particular can add a lot of benefits. I'm also aware of, of course, of the fact that um, AI and machine learning in general has, has been abused as, as a marketing term. There's still a lot of challenges in finance to, um, to apply these, um, these mechanisms. We have non-stationarity of data. We have the element of time in it. And that's um, substantially different from the areas of object or language recognition or image recognition that machine learning is usually being applied to. Um, but there's a lot of people working on it to overcome that. And I think if you don't invest in it, you know, you will eventually be caught on the back foot. So um, we're quite positive and hopeful on that front.